what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you how to add newsletter or email newsletter pop-up on shopify so you can collect email addresses from your clients or the people who visit your store so let's get right to it uh, first of all uh, to do so you'll need to uh, the easiest method is to go to the app store on shopify and grab an app to uh, help you set up the uh, newsletter or subscription pop-ups and help you collect your email so it's a service similar to like uh, Clavio and uh, other services where you can uh, create a campaign to collect email addresses so uh, the app that we are going to use so let's go to the app store and here we want to search for Privy hit enter it'll open up the app store in a uh, pop-up and that's the app we want the Privy pop-ups email and SMS so we want to install it so click on it here and now click on install okay here uh, click on install app and here on privy uh, you just have to set up your uh, business uh, name and phone number i'll just skip it for now and here it'll ask you to set up your uh, privy account so i'll just uh, click to add uh, to create my account here it'll link to it's linked to my shopify store uh, so the business name uh, let's say test store however you should enter your business name the website url okay my email uh, the phone number the industry and uh, what do you sell so my industry let's say i'm in the clothing industry i sell clothes okay next and um let's uh, choose like uh, you can upload here your logo or your default image and here you, you can say select the default colors that uh, match the uh, your color scheme of your business so i'll just stick with these uh, like uh, colors that are given i'll upload an image here or i can select a photo if i do have photos right here so i can upload a photo from my computer so this one from for example and then okay i want to use this photo and i can uh, upload a default image to show up on my website right here uh, so uh, upload a new photo this is a photo that i created earlier on like canva okay it's uploading okay i'll select it then click on use photo and as you can see this is the photo that will uh, show up right here okay click on next and uh, here uh, what's most important for me right now is to uh, grow my list capture email addresses from clients okay and here I'm redirected to this page I can go to my dashboard here and here I can uh, design my first pop-up newsletter pop-up here I can offer like a discount or a code or free shipping uh, in the pop-up in exchange for the client giving me their email so that is a pretty useful way to capture emails and to um, get the customers attention and encourage them to uh, like uh, purchase the product so let's say they are navigating your website and they are thinking if they want to purchase or not once this pop-up appears and they uh, like offer the chance to give them like a 10 percent off their next purchase or ten dollar off or free shipping that'll encourage them to uh, uh, decide to buy the product and uh, get right to it so that is a great method you can use uh, offering like coupon codes and discounts to encourage the customer so here i can offer like a 10 percent off their next um, purchase and then here uh, activate and continue and they'll create here the coupon and automatically sync with uh, shopify and here this is a preview of the pop-up that will appear here so i can change the style the um i can click on any section here to uh, change the text so let's say um sign up and i can change the alignment the uh, font i can here let's give it this font right here and here uh, i can uh, sign up for 10 percent off your next purchase or first purchase let's leave it as it is for now and here email and then subscribe i can click on the button also to change the font color the placeholder text color and the border color and uh, anything and uh change also the uh, text on the button 
and then the corner rounding i can make the corner corners a bit rounder okay the font size as well let's make it large and then let's change the font let's make it uh, okay here as you can see uh, the font in the placeholder for email uh, text here will change and here let's change the uh, font on the button itself okay and uh, let's the text make it large okay as it is now um, here we can change the background color for the button let's make it red okay that's looking good and font color let's make it white as it is and here in the email uh, the placeholder text color let's make it a bit lighter okay i like that i can also view how this pop-up will look like on mobile phone looking good okay if i click on pop-up i can uh, choose the image position so on the left at the top uh, no image at all at the bottom or on the right let's leave it uh, on the left here i can replace the image i can change the background color or i can upload a background image and you also change the corner rounding so make the corners a bit rounder so that it looks uh, better in my opinion and once the customer enters their email it'll give them a thank you message so here uh, you're on the list use this code below to get a percent off so and that's the code generated let's change this text to uh, thank you for example okay and the font color as well and choose the font let's choose this font it's large okay so that's uh, the design aspect so let's uh, save it right here and you can also click here on publish to uh, publish it and now the pop-up design is finished so that is um, I can here launch the uh, the pop-up uh, or the campaign itself so um, here is I can schedule it to send the email immediately after uh, the uh, sign up and uh, before I end this video I just want to uh, show you one more setting in the target here um, I can set up when this pop-up shows up so um, it triggers like once a day and uh, display uh, here the timer so after 10 seconds uh, of them being on my page or show them after scrolling like 25% uh, of the page or when uh, on exit intent so uh, I can uh, set it up to show on exit intent so once the customer uh, clicks on the closed tab or closed page uh, I can uh, set this pop-up to show up in this at uh, this moment to encourage them to stay and uh, make the purchase and I can trigger it automatically at most every day or every 10 minutes and so on so uh, that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to uh, create a newsletter pop-up to collect your customer's email on uh, shopify